Colorado, one of the most picturesque locations in the world, let alone for college football, and you will see plenty of Buffaloes roaming here. What an exciting matchup we have in store for you this afternoon, built around the pageantry, tradition, and everything that makes college football great. As we'll see, the Sharks taking on a team from the Big 12, the Colorado Buffaloes. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. The Sharks will boot it away to start the game. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. The Buffaloes offense will get the first swing of the game. And as the game evolves into an aerial circus, sometimes you find a superstar running back like this guy. And when you got this guy, you ride this guy. You give him the ball, you run the football, you find ways to continue to feed him because he just gets stronger and better as the game goes on. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Give to the running back. Banging, slithering, whatever it takes to get that ball up to the 32. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. He's got it out to the 37 after gaining five. And I love working the slot receivers. You see so much of that. It's about matchups, right? I can put a fast guy in that slot, maybe get him matched up on a linebacker or a safety. I like working those guys in those matchups. Favorable for the offense, for sure. Still running at the 40. Smashes ahead. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. Love the individual effort by the wide receiver after the catch, making people miss, showing you the speed. Now he set up his offense down in the red zone. And the Buffaloes have it with a first and ten. They're threatening to score, and they'll throw it. Not in lockstep there with the receiver. The incompletion leads to second and ten. Gonna run it. It's Hayden. Made a little something out of that run. He picked up a couple down to the 14. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. A little screen to the running back. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. That's a great play call there, guys. I love it. Listen, they didn't get the first down, but this QB sneak on the very next play is going to get it, and this drive is going to keep going. And fourth and inches, you know what's coming. You know they're going to run the quarterback sneak, but it's one of the hardest plays in football to stop. you got to find a way to dive from the defensive line spot and stop the feet of the quarterback, and they couldn't do it. And listen, they only needed inches. That's what makes it so difficult to stop. A first down run in the red zone. And makes his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Colorado! They draw first blood, and that is exactly what you want to open the season with a drive like that. And that is the kind of drive to start a season that is going to put a smile on your head coach's face. They were just methodical in the way they marched down the field. Awesome execution. You cannot start the season any better than that right there. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. 76 yards on the drive for the touchdown, and they punctuated it with a five-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. 
He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Sharks' offense taking the field first chance we have to see them today. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt, they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. Man, the defense, you hold your breath. When this receiver has the football out in space, you have got to make sure you're playing with outstanding pursuit. Nice job there, but as this game goes on, they've got to keep an eye on this guy and make sure they know where he is at all times. They'll try the run. Wrestled down at the 32 after a pickup of five. And I would just hate to be in the shoes of these defenders trying to tackle this running back because, of course, you're so afraid of this guy shaking you and using his elite speed to make you look bad on a highlight film somewhere, but you forget this guy can still run you over. And you saw it on that play. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. From the gun, the running back has it. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. I know that's not a huge game, but those run plays add up. They make you tackle the back every single play. Physically, you have to get some guy on the ground. It takes its toll throughout a fourth quarter game. And he picked up the first down, but he will remember the price he paid after that hit. And the Sharks are moving quickly down the field. Got his man quickly. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. And that RPO play was run to perfection. The run fake forced and sucked the defense up, and a nice job on the route by the receiver, not telegraphing that he was breaking to the inside on the slant. Pulls and fires it complete to the right. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there, and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. This offense has a second down play. Looking for a crease, it's Roberts. He had all kinds of company as soon as he got it. He had to fight his way back just to get to the line of scrimmage. This has the makings of a good drive. The seventh play brings up a third and four. Looking to throw. Gets it out fast. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. The Sharks come to the line with a new set of downs. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. Not many hiccups on this drive, but it's second and 13 now. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. They bring him down, but a solid pick up to put them in position to pick up a first down. The offense making a statement early in this game. They're going to open the entire playbook, and they're going to show this defense so many different looks and try to keep them on their heels. I love that play call. You can see the defense wasn't sure what was going on. Off the play fake. Quickly complete. Touchdown, Sharks! That is the ultimate grab and go for the score. Man, what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. Hit that one with some aggression for the point after. They go 83 yards on the drive. And they finish things off with a 21-yard touchdown pass. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. 
After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And that's a real thing, man. Like, you, you played a lot of plays, you get worn out, you need a chance to go decompress on the sideline, get some oxygen. Palmer, now it's on this offense. Yeah, this is the definition of complimentary football because it's a two-pronged problem. You've got to score points and answer. Catch inside the 25. And he got away from the defense and takes it in. Touchdown, Buffalo! Man, you want to make big plays in the passing game. And to do that, you've got to be able to read the defense, see what they're doing to make sure you don't put the ball in harm's way. You could see he drops back, got really good comfort level with what he's seeing. He knows he's going to fit that post over the linebackers in between the safety. Ball is on the money, and they're rewarded with a touchdown. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Dynamite matchup this week, fellas. Let's show you what's going down. Oregon is currently ahead right now in Autzen Stadium, but they just haven't been able to separate themselves offensively. They're up by seven over the Sharks. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected. Fellas, thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. From the gun, they'll try the middle. Defense there to stop him after a gain of one to the 22. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. On second down, just keeps firing. Working that left side now. And he gets the first down, but man, did he get the hit stick laid on his noggin. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. Quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. Crosses the 45. And he'll pick up the first down, but he got drilled on that tackle. This offense lining up now at the 48-yard line on first and 10. Guys, Colorado has the lead here. One period in the books, and let's take a look at the stats. They are lined up and ready to go and get things started here in the second. Now from the 48-yard line, it's first and 10. Give to the back. Smashes through. They finally make the stop, but the big run is ready to move those sticks for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. And here we go. If you're an offense, you've got to get that ground game going so you can have some balance, and then you give it to your quarterback, Palmer, and let him make some plays down the field later on. Yeah, exactly. And then coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to some way, somehow, at least establish a semblance of a running game for exactly what you just said. You've got to be able to use play action pass later in this game to get some explosive plays down the field. And it's a play like that that we just saw, which can help them get that. Here on third now, will they go back to the running game? Trying play action. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short in your infield goal range. What do you do here? Never a doubt for this big-footed guy. 49-yard field goal is good. That makes the score Colorado. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. Makes the grab down the left side. Touchdown, Bucks! And once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. This offense is really dangerous because of the weapons they have on the perimeter of the field. And you're seeing they go to these guys early, and they try to give them opportunities in one-on-one -on -one situations and vertically down the field. Two passing touchdowns now early for this offense.
He'll try to tack on one more. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. That one's going to get a little star mark beside it on the play sheet. One play, explosive, touchdown just like that. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. Offense set on first down. They'll go to the ground. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Got him downfield. And the ball squirted out. Oh, it looks as if the defense got it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. Man, that's a big mistake, and listen, I'm still going to force feed my playmakers. If I'm that quarterback, I'm that OC, I'm walking over to that guy and be like, listen, it's okay. It's a little bit of a mistake. We're still going to find ways to get you the rock. You're too important to this team not to give you the football. Got it. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. They torched this defense with an explosive passing play for a score last time out. Let's see if they go right back at him. Ball in the air. Intercepted. Takes it the other way. He's at the 40. And he showed off the wheels after using the hands on the pick, and he gets it down to the 34-yard line. If you don't have good vision, you're not going to be a middle of the field safety. You've got a lot of ground to cover from hash to hash. You better be able to see the quarterback. You better be able to see routes and break on the football. Nice job seeing the formation, seeing the route, breaking on it, and making the interception. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. He's looking to throw. It's complete to the left. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Down to the 23 for this first and 10. Use the play fake now to throw. Fires complete on the crosser. They make the tackle, but he's got a fresh set of downs, and it's first and goal from the seven. Just like that, a hat trick of completions, and they're on the doorstep. Three plays, three beautifully executed plays. This offense is in a really good rhythm. This defense better change something quickly because this has been way too easy. Can't hold on. He had it right down the middle, and he flat dropped it. We're trying to get the receiver on a drag route and work him through all the bodies in traffic, but there's just too much happening. I don't think he saw the throw real well, and it falls in they love to make this short field pay off with a touchdown instead of a field goal, but it's third and goal. And he'll finish the run and the end zone. Touchdown, Sharks. When the quarterback runs it, he's got the extra blocker, and I don't even know if he needed it. He just gashed them there. Yeah, Reese. I mean, this offensive coordinator does a good job scheming ways to get this quarterback out into space with the ball in his hands, and when he's there, he can make people miss, and if he gets into the second level of your defense, that dude is gone. Getting set for the point after. And they tack on the extra point to cut the lead to 21-17. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Well, the good news about this drive, Jesse, it can't go worse than last time through a pick on the first play. No, it certainly can't. I think one good way, David, to help your quarterback turn the page is just find him an easy completion here. And, let... and he's got it inside the 30-yard line. Touchdown, Colorado! And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. 
play caller nowadays, man, I want more guys like this. Just versatility. You can see he can catch it at the backfield like a wide receiver, or he can run it. Nice job catching the football with his hands, using his speed to do the rest and get into the end zone. Lining up to add another. And with the extra point, we have a 28-17 ball game. That drive not too taxing on the playbook. One play, put it in the end zone just like that. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. And now the offense will come onto the field again. These two defenses have had their head spinning here in the first half, and now we might even see a little more scoring with this drive. It's going back and forth. This is like two heavyweights just trading blows, David. What has this defense got to do to get a stop here? I, I tell you what, man. When you're giving up points like this and you've got no momentum, you've got to find somebody that can make a play to create something. And listen, if, you're sc if they're scoring anyways, let's be aggressive. Let's blitz more. Let's, let's make sure we're making them feel discomfort in some way, shape, or form. They'll run play action. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. Trying to pick up a first down. Here's the snap, looking to throw. Takes a hit as he fires. This time it's complete. Gets it to the 42-yard line, and that's a first down. The number one goal as a defense is try to hit the QB as many times as possible. Try to rattle him. Try to get him flustered a little bit. Nice job getting there, getting the hit on him. But nice job of executing by the quarterback. Taking the hit, delivering the strike. And he'll have to check his fillings after that lick, but he did get the first down. They want to just keep throwing it. Quickly to the tight end. Ever since they invented the forward pass, the tight ends have been running the drag and getting the first down. I think it's because the tight ends have so much versatility. You know, they can block and stay in the formation, or they can release and come out. But either way, if the quarterback's patient, most of the time, that drag route's going to come up. Still some work to do after that last completion at second down. Using the quick game. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. And the Sharks come to the line with a fresh set of downs. He's going to pass. Finds a man on the left. Gets out of bounds after the big game, but they've got it first and goal. Yeah, when you get that man coverage, most people are taught to have inside leverage. So that out route's there if your QB can put some air on it and throw it outside of the guy but tight coverage but a really nice throw in that out, there. out of the gun looking to throw makes the grab he gets it in touchdown sharks and i tell you what that passing touchdown man that should spark this whole team like the comeback is more than on now like they got the touchdown they cut into the lead you, you want to get a stop and go into the half get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. Ready to try the point the after. Is on for the extra point. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Terrific showdown this week, guys. Let's take a look at what's going on. Air Force is currently ahead in this one, but they may need to rev up an F-16 if they want to turn this into a blowout today. They're up by 10 over the astronauts. We'll circle back if anything big happens you need to know about. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. The first down for the offense. With jet sweep pass. Pass the sticks and still on his feet. They'll get the first down. It's spotted on the 49. 
in these touch passes, it's so hard because there's always action off, right? If I fake this pass and I can run it up the gut or I can throw it and I just spread me out and make me defend so many things, you can tell they got on the edge quickly, got the big first down. They came out hot on this drive. One play and already near midfield. On the ground, it's Hayden. Tried to fight his way through that tackle, but he's brought down. Offense tries to go RPO and hand off to the running back, but how about the defense up front? They're just too stout. They're not getting moved anywhere, and they're able to make a big-time play. And the pressure was in his grill in an eyelash. You know, we're only in the first half of this football game, and already this offense has had tons of success throwing the football. The defense has to disrupt his rhythm, and they finally do there getting the sack. They've given up three TD passes. Let's see if... Got it in stride inside the 20. Touchdown, Buffalo! And once he got loose, it was all over. How about that quarterback taking the shot downfield and delivering to the wide open receiver? I love this quarterback, Reese, because he's aggressive. He wants to take shots. He's looking for every opportunity to show off that cannon in that arm town. He showed it to all of us right there. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point is good, and they have an 11-point lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And the score coming on the touchdown pass from 55 yards out. The kickoff unit about to go to work. Just take a knee in this drive. We'll start at the 25. Okay, so here comes the offense returning to the field. Last time they had it, they took it down the field for a touchdown. They can build some confidence that they could go back-to-back -back scoring drives here. Yeah, and remember, it's not uncommon for offenses to find themselves as the game goes on. They had some things not go their way early, but they found something last drive, David. Let's see if they can build on it. Yeah, you, you, you just pick and pick and pick until you find that place where you're like, okay, this is an advantage I have. They've clearly found that dude. They score here. We're in for a ball game. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks, guys. A first half that saw a little bit of everything there in Boulder. The passing game for both sides has been outstanding. On point, unrelenting. They've excelled in the short game, the intermediate game, and especially on the deep ball. All in all, a thrilling display of offensive firepower, and these defenses have a lot to discuss here at halftime. With that said, let's send it back to the fellas at Folsom Field. All right, Kevin about ready to get things cranked back up here. The Buffaloes will kick it away first and we'll start the second half. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. So we'll see the offense on the field to start this drive. I imagine we'll see them go right back to work up top after how productive that passing game was in the first half. And it's interesting. If I'm the defense and I've got the lead, they've had success throwing the football, but we're winning. I don't know that this defense changes too much of what they've done in the first half. I think they got to do a better job of pass rush. They might want to change their coverages as well because they're probably at this point expecting this offense to have to keep throwing, considering they did have success in the first half. They'll run it. He's got enough for the first down. They'll spot it at the 37. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They're getting this guy lathered up. Got the first down and more. Running toward the tape. 10. 
And he slipped through the crowd, and he'll house it. Touchdown, Sharks! No, I am a great play caller when I can hand it to guys like that. And he can go that far to the house, create big plays, showed you a little bit of vision, showed you a little bit of burners when he kicked it in gear and got the long touchdown run. They're going to go ahead and go for two here and try to make it a field goal game. He's looking to throw. Gets it out quickly. He's going to be stopped short as they come up empty on the two-point try. They were hoping to get this game to within a field goal, but the lead stays at five. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. David, they'd love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was... Oh, look out. There he goes. And they pick up a better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. I'm a defense. I gotta find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. I gotta be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. He's going to let one fly down the middle. Works his way to the four-yard line, and they'll have it first and goal. And a big reason why this team has the lead in this game is because of plays like that. They know they've got firepower throwing the ball. They've got the dudes outside that can make things happen. You saw it in the first half, and you see it here again early in the third quarter. And the Buffaloes trying to get a touchdown on first and goal. On the run, it's Sanders. Instagram in the end zone. Touchdown, Bucks! Like a Thanksgiving turkey. They're just being caught. No shot. They have no idea how to get in this quarterback's head. He's on fire. Everything he's doing is working defensively. We've got to figure something out. We've got to try to do something a little bit different. Bring more pressure. At this rate, shoot, he's on so much fire, you might as well just send everybody. Blitz everybody, live with the results, because everything else ain't working anyways. And he had the extra point to finish the drive. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. And the offense takes the field, ready to go back to work. There's certainly still a hill to climb, but they've got to make sure these drives pay off. Got a touchdown last time. Can they back it up here? Well, and it's amazing in a football game how sometimes they'll surprise you with what you do. Once you get settled and you realize what's going on now, I'm comfortable with it. Jesse, this offense looked comfortable on its last drive. They sure did. It looked like they started to find some momentum. So now it's on this defense to stop that, all right? You're a little bit upset based on what just happened in the previous drive. You've got to bow up again and go back to what was working earlier in this game. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. He looks that one in nicely. Ran through the tackle, and he's got room to run. And how about that? What the doctor always ordered, an explosive play to the 40. The Sharks will have it first and 10. He wants to throw. Quick strike complete. And he got enough for the first down, but somebody put the hit stick upside his head. Now on the move at the 28-yard line on first down. Used the play fake, now to throw. And the quarterback is toast back at the 35. When it's a play-action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. The play-action fake. And the pass is incomplete. Charred loose by the hit. This is 
is a third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. A strike downfield. He stopped just short of the goal line at the one. An explosive play has him set up. And the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football. Had time, spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense has given him. And he's loose, and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Sharks. Well, they go back to the option play. Now, this is the second time, Pollock, this QB has scored running this scheme offensively. Yeah, and as a defense, you got to understand when you're playing the option, it's responsibility football. i got to stop my assignment. I can't get caught in somebody else's business. You could tell this defense not really ready for this quarterback run game. They better figure it out or it's going to be a long game. Lining up for the PAT. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. SMU is currently trailing, but if this young star leads a comeback today, he could join former Heisman winner Dope Walker among the legends to wear that uniform. It's still a one-score game. They're trailing by eight to the Pandas. Any big developments in this one, we've got you covered with the best studio team in the business, gentlemen. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. Not much doing there. He gets it to the 26, a gain of one. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Looking to throw at Sanders. Makes the grab on the left. Still on his feet. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. And this quarterback now is throwing for almost 450 yards. That is a lot of throw. He's got it. They will score. Touchdown, Colorado. You know, sometimes as a play caller, you just don't have to overthink things. I've got a guy who's faster than your guys, and he's just going to run straight down the field. I'm going to throw it way down the field. He's going to make the catch, and we're going to score a touchdown, and that's pretty much what just happened there. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the score coming on the touchdown pass from 55 yards out. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. And the offense takes the field eager to go back to work. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make because they got to stop the bleeding right now. Not a lot of daylight. He gets one to the 32. This offense can ill afford to come up empty on this drive, already trailing by multiple possessions. Off play action. Trying to get to him. Didn't have anything working and just had to throw it away on third down. And the Sharks decide to punt it away. Defense did a great job. Third and short on the opponent's side of the field. They're expecting quick throw. Everybody, they dug their heel on the ground. They're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. And David Howe, they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drive. And once
once you get the defense on their heels and you back them off a little bit, you get in a little bit of rhythm, it's really hard to stop Jesse, and they're going to try to do it again right here. And if you're this play caller, you're loving what's happening right now because everything you dialed up on that last drive ended up working out. You're just looking at your play sheet. Everything you're picking is working. Let's see if they can pull it off again here. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. Bully ball on third and short. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Man, I do not want a guy to dance. I want square shoulders to the line of scrimmage, take the snap, secure the football, play physical, and fall forward. Nice job by that running back getting the first down. A shot toward the end zone. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. Smart offensive coordinators, they're going to throw deep balls, especially those 50-50 balls you hear about all the time. My wide receiver is better than your DB. Well, not on this play. Scanning the field, it's Sanders. And the heat gets home. They knock him down back at the 45. Also, four yards on the play. Brings up Guys, Colorado has the lead here. They've built a cushion. They've got a nice lead. Now the task is finish the deal as you take a look at the third quarter stats. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. Back on the field after the break, and we'll start the quarter here on third down. Get set, get set, Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. No hesitation at all. The offense stays on the field. They'll go for it. He'll try to throw. Unleashes one deep. Snag in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Well, I think this home environment was just too much for their opponents to handle. There's been unbelievable noise and energy. The crowd showed up today, but how about the playmaking on the field? These guys have got dudes all over the field, and this kind of win week one sends a statement and reverberates all across college football. PAT unit on the field. And no problem on the extra point as they push the lead to 19 here in the fourth. They march 58 yards for the touchdown on that one. And they pay it off with a strike from 38 yards out. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Out comes the offense as they get set to take over. He wants to start this drive with a pass. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? At this point in the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. That's a great job by the wide receiver, understanding where the first down marker is. Don't mess around. Don't run two yards short. Get to the first down, catch the football, move the sticks, get an extra set of downs. Pressure coming. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. They'll snap it from the 25 here on second and long. 42, Spider. Four. He's looking to throw. Catch in the middle. It's McGowan. Bulls his way forward. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Using the spin move. 
They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. And with that one, he's now over three bills for the game. And there's two reasons why, Reese. He's made good decisions, and he's been accurate throwing the football all game long. Caught over the middle. It's McGowan. Make the stop at the 40, but it's a 10-yard gain and a fresh set of downs. And that's a first down. The aerial assault continues. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down. Second down coming. Second and ten here. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here. With a big lead in the game, you're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. The Sharks will hustle for the line. Well, and here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle, and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. From the red zone, he's going to throw it. He's got it on the move. And he strides his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Sharks! This is like a baseball pitcher that can't miss. He is just pounding, pounding, pounding the strike zone. Yeah, it just gets in the zone, right? When you can't miss, you, you, you've seen quarterbacks get like that. No matter what they do, they're on fire. They're hitting the receivers. And listen, that's also on the defense. The defense has to do a better job making him feel uncomfortable, changing what they're doing in coverage so he's a little bit confused. You can't just let him pick you apart. Timeout called here by the defense. It's their first of the half. They are running out of time here. They need to get the ball back. They'll line up for the onside kick. They were ready for the onside kick and executed perfectly, and they secure the football. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense to have to execute at a high level. They've got to score points, David, but they can't go too fast because their defense right now is tied. And I think that's the difficulty being a play caller. Like, I have to balance all of those things. My defense is a little bit tired. I can't put on the field, but I got to be aggressive because this is a back-and-forth type game, so a lot to process and think about. And I think if you're the head coach, defensively now, obviously, you've got three timeouts in your back pocket. You're trailing at this point, and the offense is going to be running the football, trying to bleed the clock. They're going to take as much time off the game clock as they can before snapping it. You've got to start thinking about using some of those timeouts. Stop is made at the 36, but he picked up 10 on that one and has a fresh set of downs. That's got to be demoralizing if you're the defense. You're trailing. You need to get the ball back. you got to get off the field, but you can't stop the run when they're going between the tackles. This defense is going to have to get a lot more physical, especially in the middle. They've got it at the 36 on first and 10. He's looking to throw it. Let's it fly deep downfield. Reels it in in the end zone. Touchdown, Bucks! And this offense continuing to put up points. This game's out of reach. You know you're going to win, but still throwing the football, still finding that connection. I imagine there'll be some salty handshakes at the end of this game. to attempt to try and no problem on the extra point as they push the lead to 19 here in the fourth we check in with kevin connors what's going on kevin dynamite matchup today fellas let's show you what's going down south carolina is on the wrong end of a one-sided affair today and if you'll pardon the pun the chickens are going to come home to roost this week in columbia they're trailing by 32 to Old Dominion. Your boy KC has you covered here in studio, guys, in case anything changes in this one. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Wants to throw on first down. Got his man quickly. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. Trying to get everybody set with the clock still running. On second down, wants to throw it. He's got his man. Makes a catch and knockdown. And the Sharks come to the line in the hurry up. 
He's looking to throw on third and short. Snags it over the middle. Quick timeout called by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. The Sharks getting set on first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. Finds his man down the middle. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Now it's first and ten from the 46-yard line. Movement from the linebackers trying to mess with the offensive line's assignments. Grabbed in the middle, it's McGowan. He stopped just a chain link or two away from the first down and sets them up beautifully here. The offense will quickly use a timeout. And still a few inches short of the sticks as they come to the line for second down. He's looking to throw. Gets it out fast. And the Sharks get enough for the first down. Offense lining up quickly. They'll throw it on first down. They're working that left side. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep him from getting the first down. He'll spike the ball to try to save every precious second he can. And here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. Quickly complete. Touchdown, Sharks! Made the grab and finished the deal in the end zone. And a nice touchdown, continuing to fight, continuing to play. This one, it's pretty much over. Down multiple possessions this late in the football game. It would take a miracle, but nice job by this offense continuing to fight, push the ball down the field, make plays. And he tacked on the extra point. So a drive there of 82 yards, and they close the deal with a 20-yard pass for six. The defense uses their second timeout of the half as they try to get their act together. They're definitely up against it. Time running out, down two possessions. They'll try the onside kick. Looks as if the hands team will be able to recover the ball. Yeah, and this is why you put your hands team on the field most of the time you, when you know it's coming and you put those guys that are great catchers of the football. The first guys, what do they do? They go block. They go blow somebody up. The next guys catch the football, secure it, get your butt on the ground. And most of the time when you do this, the ball game is over. He has the first and still on his feet. And they are finding some space in this defense. He's got it down to the 25. Timeout called there by the defense. Desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. So with the late lead, they're ready to just drain the clock in victory formation. They get a big win here and start the season on a positive note. You got to love that as the players. You come out, you have so much anticipation coming into the season, finally getting ready to play in front of a live audience. You're able to come out and execute and get this win under your belt. David, couldn't be a better way to start the year. And for the losing team, obviously, it's a little bit different. You have something to look at now to analyze where do I need to get a little bit better, but plenty of time still left in the season to improve and turn it around. That's going to do it for us from here for Jesse Palmer, David Pollock. I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.